Then an email came from the White House saying, we need to consider you for this new role as a PEPFA coordinator. Initially, I thought it was uh, a scam. I mean, maybe. <laughs> and uh, and I, told, I showed that to my it's wife. It's a very specific scam. Yeah, <laughs> is, um, so uh, it took me a week to, to, to reply to that because, as you can imagine, I saw with my 25 years experience in HIV AIDS, I knew that the, the war against HIV AIDS was still on. It was a pandemic that was still going on and in, impacting a lot of, and, and exposing a lot of the inequalities that we described and inequities that we described there. Then I had to make a judgment call and at that point I said, how do you leave a continent that was in the middle of, of a pandemic to jump ship? But I did an analysis and I said I had secured 400 million doses of vaccines, the Johnson & Johnson vaccines, through partnerships with the private sector, Strive Masiward, uh, um, Benedict Orama from the Afri Exim Bank, under the instructions of the AU chairperson, President Ramaphosa. So we had that covered. With a partnership with the MasterCard Foundation, I had raised 1.5 billion to help with the vaccination. And so it occurred to me that even... If I left, the continent was in a good place to roll out vaccination. But you know what I did? I turned to the president number four. I said, President, you are the chair of the AU. This is what my president has asked me to do because I was on loan to the African Union. I'm, I mean, even my five years and a half there, I was second staff from the, Africa, from the US CDC. To, so I said, this is what the White House has said. But you, if you think I shouldn't go, it is up to you to call the White House and tell them that I, mean, I cannot leave. <laughs>